Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to show you how to connect the PT level wireless receiver um, using an Android phone. So basically what I've done is I have my PT level receiver connected within range of my home Wi-Fi inside uh, plugged into an outlet. Uh, so now with an Android phone you can pull down from the top and where you see the Wi-Fi uh, toggle you can long press it. And when you do that, it brings up the settings for your Wi-Fi to find signals to connect to. As you can see, there is the PT level signal. So uh, to connect to it, just press it and then wait for it to connect. And Android's going to tell us that uh, there is no internet, which is perfectly fine. Once it's connected, it'll say connected. And make sure that it does. If it doesn't, try again. Once in a while, it might not allow you to connect to it the first time. So now that it's connected, I'm going to press it again. And when I do that, it comes up with these settings. Um, this is one way to connect to it. So you see where it says Manage Router. So I'm just going to press on that. And what that's going to do is open up my browser, and it's going to go right to the configuration of the PT level receiver. So this is what you should see here. Uh, and now to connect to my home Wi-Fi, what you do is you s click on connect to your Wi-Fi. So then it's going to search the signals within its range. And in my case, VB Networks is the one you want to connect to. So let's just do that. And then we will enter in the password. So now about the password, it is case sensitive. And uh, we want to make sure that you connect it or put in the password correctly because if you don't, then it's not going to connect. Uh, but no worries, you can just try again. So I'll hit connect now. So you should see this screen. Um, it'll sit here and wait to connect. It takes a few seconds to do that. And once it does, this is what you'll see. It should say connected to your network name and then a disconnect link. That disconnect link will disconnect the receiver from your. Wi-Fi or home network uh, if should you change it or uh, move the device to another home or something like that you might want to use that for that um, so that's about it uh, I to uh, point out there's a number it's a uh, 68C 63AA that number at the bottom here you could take note of that um, but it's also in your instructions as well, and it's also on the PT level receiver itself. Um, so anyways, now that it's connected, what I'm going to do is show you how to create, how to link it to your account. So if you don't have an account online yet, uh, go to ptdevices.com with your phone or your computer and click on the register now. So I'm just going to quickly register a test person. So I'm just going to put in a regular password and we'll go sign up. And once you've done that, so you will see the basics of the account. Um, there are a lot of features that we'll go through in other videos, uh, so bear with us while we make those. But in this case, we're just going to connect the receiver. So since it's connected to my home Wi-Fi, I can just go here, connect it. And now this is where we put in the ID uh, that, again, is on the instructions on the device or right on the connection screen when you connected the Wi-Fi. So in this case, oh, and it's not case sensitive, so you don't have to worry about that. So that's the number of my device, and I'll just click on Add, and then you should see this. And uh, once the PT level receiver reports in, which it does once every minute, this should change, and you should see uh, an empty level reading. So now that it's picked it up on it, uh, this is it. So there's zero reading. Um, the next step would be to connect your transmitter device. Uh, once you've installed it, you simply just hit the button on it, and uh, it will link right up. And start reading a level if you have it all installed properly. So from here, what you would do is you would set up your device, where it says please set up. 
uh, and you can click on that. We'll go into more details in this in another video, but to get started with it, uh, you basically just need to select your units of measure. So let's uh, use uh, feet, for example, and say my cistern is six feet deep. We'll put a six here, and you can name your device here, and just hit save settings. Those are the basic settings that we uh, need to get started. Anyways, so that is all for now. Uh, again, we'll get on into more features in another video. And uh, I hope this helps you out. Don't hesitate to contact us if you have any troubles with anything because we are definitely here to help. Have a good day.